In today's video, I'm going to be showing you Artflow. Artflow is amazing. It's a new tool which I've just came across and we can make images like this of me as the Joker, me as Ken, me as Iron Man, me as Doctor Strange, me as a YouTuber or like a real professional looking YouTuber and more of me as Doctor Strange. So let's get into it. Here is the website and it's a place where we can create consistent characters, generate images and generate videos and animate our characters. We're not going to do that today. I am very excited to create consistent characters and mainly characters of me. If you've been to my YouTube channel or you've looked at my YouTube thumbnails, you will see that quite a few of them has started to use AI art and headshots of me, which I've modified in AI. And uh, you can see I really like this one because I keep on using it. And if we go on down, here's a few other ones. And sometimes there's mixed results. Sometimes they're quite good. Sometimes it takes a long time to get a headshot of yourself with face replacement and AI and mid journey and all that good stuff that looks quite good. And that is why I'm excited for this here website. You can see the results in this website. There's this here guy, bit of an astronaut in lots of different locations. This here girl, again, in lots of different places, a scenario, there's like a night. And a woman looks as if she's doing a TED talk and she's professional. And uh, I'm just going to dive in because I'm very excited. So there's a few ways we can do. We can create images here or here or along the side. And I want to go to Character Builder and visualize yourself in unlimited outfits and worlds. That's what I want to do. First training for free, even better. You don't have to pay out of the bat. We'll look at pricing later on in the video. But all I want to do is try to get this face on different bodies and different outfits and uniforms and stuff like that. So I'm going to click here, create your AI actor. I haven't signed up yet, so I'm just going to sign up. I'm going to sign in with my Google account. I'm going to accept the terms of the agreement. And then it's just giving me some information of what's new. So I'm going to go back to Character Builder, create your actor. And I'm a male. I'm an adult. We will call it Andrew. Upload 20 pictures drag and drop the files and acceptable pictures here images of the same person which i have that's me face uncovered different backgrounds angles facial expressions and light conditions human only so i think i've got all that covered I'll, we'll look at the photos to see what i've got because it, just before this tutorial started i quickly try to get some photos and I, I cropped them out of myself and the only thing i don't have is maybe too many different angles and then group photos extreme angles face too small covered nudes, all that. Yep. So if I browse and I'm going to browse to my headshots and I'll show you, I think that's, oh, there's a few, a few photos here. So I'm just going down. There's a few better quality than others. And uh, we'll not spend too long looking at me, but you can see what I've done. I've got lots of images. I've cropped it in. And as the thing said, there's lots of different backgrounds few slight different angles. I'm smiling on a lot of them, maybe some more than others. So we'll see how, oh, look at that one. Looking a bit, looking a bit mean. That was for a Star Wars poster. So I've uploaded 20 photos and hopefully it won't take too long. It didn't take too long, only a few seconds actually. So that is all my photos. And again, there's some better quality than others. And I'm going to start the training and let's see how long it's going to take. So it's telling me as soon as I hit that button, it says due to extremely large traffic, it might take one to two hours or longer to process. And that's fair enough. If it wants to do a good enough job, it's going to take a while, especially with this face. It might take longer than most. So I'll come back to this video when I've got something to show you. So I'm not actually too sure how long that took because I left it. And when I came back a few hours later, it was done. So it said it would take maybe an hour or two. I'm not quite sure, but now it's done. So there we are, Andrew, male, adult. And first impressions is it looks it looks like I've been, I've been boxing or something. I've got like a, a bit of a swollen eyebrow or, or something there. But uh, the hair, the face, you would know it's me, but there's a few, a few things off. But let's see how we go from here. So... I will click create image and oh wow. So my creations on the top right hand corner. So if I click into this, Doctor Strange, love Doctor Strange. If you know me, I love Marvel, anything Marvel. So already, already art flows reading my mind and it knows what I like. And uh, do you know what? All these are more than possible for me. They all look like like me. I like this one. Um, I'm not sure what's happening with my hands. The hands, I'm not sure. But certainly the faces, I think, I think maybe this one's my favorite. Uh, this click and this next one. Yes, it's like a YouTube studio setup. And uh, my hair is quite, 
But here's quite cool. Can I click into this and make it a bit bigger? So sitting behind a parallel desk table, Andrew, popular content creator, YouTuber, cool YouTube vlog. And what's brilliant about this is it actually gives me really good prompts for mid journey too. So if I wasn't happy with this background, I could maybe take these prompts in the mid journey, cut myself out, replace the background. And uh, there's a bit of, bit of stubble going on there quite grey up here and uh, I suppose I am quite grey up there. Looking a bit more serious there. I don't know if that's the jumper I would be wearing and, and how many screens do I need in the background here? But uh, I think that looks quite cool. And then something just a little bit off there. I'm just not too sure. And uh, I looked a bit, I look a bit more muscly in that one again. An awful lot of screens in the back, but they're certainly passable. So if I click out of that, so that is all my creations. Which one of these do I like the best? Say, say this one. I can scroll down, and it's got more from Andrew Goodman. I can make a variant of this. So here we are on the left hand side. Adjust the variant strength slider to control the degree of difference between your generated images and the source image. So say I want a large, large, small, go for medium and prompts. Give me some prompt advice. Describe your scene. Try and include medium subject, activity, environment, mood, everything quite normal that you would find. So a portrait of Andrew. So this is good. I have multiple characters. I can just tag, tag. Uh, of course, in a free account, you only get one character. So that's me, portrait of Andrew, part of the tax and scene. And I'm going to type in portrait of Andrew, Iron Man, photorealism, future, futurism, Iron Man in a helmet, stands. So I've typed this about Iron Man and uh, I'll see what else I can do. Do I want to exclude anything? So I can exclude things from images, which is quite common now in a lot of these prompts. So visible hands, holding subjects. So that's interesting. It's saying to exclude these things, but some of these things are in here, like the hands, but everything else is okay. Do I want to add another style? Oh, this is very nice. So we can add different styles, storybook, watercolor. At the minute it's cinematic and we'll keep it as cinematic. We'll maybe change it. And I'm going to generate V2 and this must be with one credit. I can speed up with premium. So we'll click it now and I'll let you know how long this is going to take. So that took about three and a half minutes and these are my results. And straight away, I was a bit disappointed because it was like, that's not that different from the Doctor Strange type photos. And then I realized I made a mistake. I clicked into one of these and I clicked here, I clicked make variant. And that's not what I want to do. I actually want to do a whole new creation. So really it was just taking that photo and it made a bit of a variant of it. And it made four different ones. And of course, that's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to copy all this again. And instead of make variant, I am going to go image studio. I'm going to create new image. We're going to have a portrait or general. I prefer general. This is the different sizes. I like this. Director mode. If we go in director mode, we can actually choose the body. We can actually choose where we want our characters. So uh, I'll maybe put myself in the middle here. And this is great because we're going to have a full shot, mid shot, close up. And, and for this, maybe I want a full shot. If, if I want Iron Man, I'll put him maybe, I'll put him about here and I will paste in the prompt. prompt. So portrait of Andrew and I'll change it up slightly. Andrew as Iron Man, photorealism. I'll type in future futurism and I'm going to take that helmet bit out because uh, you might not see my face. So stands in full growth in his technological studio looking straight at the camera. And again, I've got the face exclude from images. Describe your negative prompt. For example, if you want to create an empty room, you would use people or crowd. So maybe I will have people and uh, see just with that. And again, generate, it's going to be one image. And while that was loading, I noticed that down here, we do have credits. We'll look at credits in a second. I'm going to generate that. Here we are with the results. And it's not a fuller body shot that I was expecting, but some of them don't look too bad. I definitely prefer this one. Makes me look a bit more like Iron Man. Definitely a bit of a steely gaze there. I'll maybe get me smiling in one of these photos, but generally a bit of gel in my hair. But it does, it does look like me. And I think I seem a bit more beefed up than I actually am, maybe. Let's go into Character Builder. And this here is quite interesting. Put your actor into various outfits and worlds. So we'll see if there's a kind of different scenario that I would like. And a few of these, I have to create an image that looks like this. Everything looks okay. Director mode. Again, we'll have a full body shot. I 
didn't seem to work last time. Maybe I turned that off. I think that was maybe the issue. Yes, that was the issue last time. That's why I just had a portrait shot. So I want a full body or maybe, maybe a mid shot. We'll try that. We'll keep it turned on this time. I'm learning as we go. We're learning as we go here. And instead of that, we will type Andrew, which is me. Andrew is a Ken doll chilling in the beach in the summer shorts and all that good business. And maybe my Iron Man one needed a bit more detail, but that's that's okay. Exclude extreme close ups and everything looks okay. Again, another credit. I'll press it. And while that's loading, I will go down to the credits. We'll go into credits. You currently have 97 credits. My next batch of credits will be in 29 days, 23 hours. Very accurate there. So every month we're going to get 100 credits and I can upgrade my plan if I click into that. So here we are. We've got the free plan, Starter Pro Enterprise. Again, there's there's video stuff, which I'm very excited to look at into also. But the starter plan, 300 credits, or we can move that up to 600, 900. There's no real discount there. There's a little bit of discount. The Pro plan is coming in at 1,000 credits. You can even go up to 3,000. Or if you're in the free plan, you want more credits, you can top up for $5 for 150 more. So questions and answers, earn money, watch new, join our Discord, video studio. So I've just clicked in the image studio and look at this. I'm so excited about this. It's me as a Ken doll, kind of. So let's click into each of these. I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. This looks this looks like me as a Ken doll, 100%, 100%. And again, just chilling. Loving that shirt. Drink looks nice too. Oh yeah, pointing at the drink as if I knew. That is brilliant. So many uses, so many uses of this has come to my mind. Just for a bit of banter, for a bit of crack, you could do so many things with this and your mates. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. A lot of fun with this. This is the best face replacement AI tool I've come across yet. I have come across a few and I'll maybe show them in a different video. Overall, I'm really, really, really impressed with Artflow. I will be doing more work on this and I think there's big, big potential for this, especially for YouTube thumbnails. I can see me using this a lot, a lot for YouTube thumbnails. So until the next time, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.